We are Legion. What's up, comic fam, and welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm really excited about this video. I've had so many packages in the USPS limbo. They've been in purgatory and stopped up in ATL, and I'm excited because I've got three packages here to open up. So Christmas came a little late for me, but I'm really excited. So let's get started and see what's in them. So if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to this uh, channel. Hit that notification bell. It'll let you know when future videos come out, which is really important because I'm almost at 290 subscribers. And at 300, I'll be doing a giveaway. And I'm sure I can come up with some really cool stuff to give away. So you don't want to miss out on that. And you do have to be a subscriber to win. But without any further ado, I got three packages there. I got two Geminis and then a big box. I think I'm going to do the big box first. I've already cut these open. Well, cut two of them open. And uh, this is the only slab book that I got. And I did cut it open just to make sure it came in okay. I do have this book already. I don't think I ever showed it on one of the videos, but it's uh, I've been chasing after a specific artist's stuff lately, and this is some of his stuff. People who watch my channel know that I do favor this artist heavily, and I have a raw one of these that I'm going to be sending off to the artist to have it remarked and worked on, but I wanted a clean 9.8 copy because I love the cover so much. And that's the uh, Justice League Dark number 24. And this was the cover B. It's a John Jane cover. And uh, it's hard to see. So much glare. I do apologize. See if I can get it where it's decent. It's one of the best swamp things I've seen. And he's just kind of up there in the corner chilling. And that Bobo, that detective chimp, is fantastic. And you have Man Bat there in the front just lurking in the shadows. Such a, such a beautiful cover. So awesome. This is my second copy, but this is my first graded copy. So that's really cool. That's cool. And then this one, I think I'll save that for last. I'm excited for that one. This one I have not opened yet, so we'll open it together. There's a uh, kind of different little categories of stuff that this artist has done, what John James done. He's done stuff for DC. He's done stuff for Star Wars. He's done stuff for uh, G.I. Joe, Transformers. And I haven't had any of, I haven't gotten any of the G.I. Joe ones yet. And I've ordered... I started hitting the Transformers ones, and uh, I value shop stuff. You know, I don't just jump on the first thing that I see. And I've been able to score some stuff at some fantastic prices and not pay inflated prices for it, which is great because most of these I am going to be having sent off for services on them, and bare minimum signatures on them before they get graded. Oh, that's glorious. This is from the uh, – Transformers Terminator crossover, and that's his variant for that. And you have Megatron right there holding with a bandolier of uh, T-800 heads on there, which is awesome. I love the Terminator franchise. Big fan of that franchise growing up. Terminator 2 pretty much defined my childhood. But yeah, that's an awesome cover. The lose so much detail with these uh, videos compared to in person, but his – yeah, so much awesome detail on his face, the little inlays on his chest and everything. And the T-800 heads look fantastic. It's a beautiful cover. Megatron, such a such a cool Transformer. I love the look that he has with the purple on him and everything. All right, finally, for the last one, this one I'm super excited about. It pairs nicely with one that I already have that I have signed by John Jane. And this one came from Surprise Comics. And uh, this is the Star Wars Adventures. I forget what issue number it is. I don't pick up and read the Star Wars Adventures. These are just straight cover vibes for me. I will be reading this issue, though, because now I have one. But it's Star Wars Adventures of Clone Wars Battle number five. And the interior art looks pretty cool. It looks not bad. I don't know that. But this is the uh, standard Clone Wars Battle Tales number five by John Jang. Looks good. Looks very good, but it looks nothing as good as that foil variant. Ooh, shiny. 
and it goes very well with the Darth Vader one that I have. That Darth Vader one is insane. I love the colors on this. Darth Maul was super cool. You know, that was the uh, the uh, first Sith that was introduced to me in my childhood after Darth Vader. You know, you always had the original Star Wars stuff. But when I was little and that episode one was coming out and seeing that there's this, this new Sith with a double lightsaber and everything, it was just so cool. I was like at the perfect age just to eat it all up. But yeah, that, that's just a beautiful cover. I love foil covers. This is the second one of his that I have in foil. I'm still after a cold dead hands. He did a uh, metal variant for that one, which I'm really, really wanting to get my hands on. I haven't been able to find a cheap copy yet. The cheapest one I think I found like 70 bucks. So if anyone out there has a copy of cold dead hands, the metal variant, and they're looking to sell it, hit me up. I'm on Instagram. Link is in the description. And again, there's that. Just Sleep Dark 24 and a 9.8. And that amazing Transformers versus the Terminator. Some beautiful books. I'm very excited to get them in. And uh, haven't checked out his stuff. Check out John James stuff. He's got some awesome stuff. He just had uh, a really, really wicked, cool exclusive release with Frankie's just about an hour ago. And that's Frankie's Comics. And uh, it's for Death Metal issue number seven. Is an insane, insane cover of the Batman Who Laughs. Even if you don't plan on buying it, just go over there and check it out. It is, it is insane how he can do some of these characters. Like how he did the Robin King up here. Like the Robin King is such a creepy little character, and he just nailed him with that cover. And that Batman Who Laughs one is is even more insane than this. But yeah, go check out his stuff. You can find John Jang all over social media on Instagram at The Art of John Jang. You can find him on Facebook at just John Jang. You can find his books all over the place. He works with a bunch of different shops. He's worked with Frankie's. He works with Big Time Collectibles really, really often. They've got a lot of great stuff over there. Go check out what they have. They got a Rorschach variant, a Mega Man variant. They've done Last Ronin covers three Big Time Collectibles, which have been by far the best ones I've seen. So Check his stuff out. Let me know what you think about these books. What are some of your favorite artists? Because he's definitely one of my favorite modern artists that's working right now. I don't know what it is about his style. It just catches my attention. I just really, really enjoy it. So, again, if you haven't already, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. It should be somewhere over that way. And uh, watch out for that uh, 300 subscriber giveaway. But until then... I do have some more videos coming this week. I'm uh, looking forward to some of the stuff I'm working on. And I'll be finally back doing my at Weeks in Live chat this Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern time, roughly. So hope to see everyone in the chat there. And everyone have a good night. And as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.